Hi guys, it's Sarah, and today I'll be doing the Divergent book tag. I've actually changed outfits and thrown on my red wig to my other persona. I'm thinking about getting more wigs just so I could shoot with them. It'll be really fun. The lighting in my room is kind of horrible at the moment because the sun is kind of going down. So I'll try to make this book thing quick. And sorry about the wig if it's a little off balance. I haven't brushed it out since yesterday for my Little Mermaid one. So let's get started. One, abnegation. The, the selfless. A book you recommended to someone recently. I actually recommend like three books daily. And since I can't pick my favorite one, I'm going to give you my three recommendations now. Uh, for this one, I picked Vampire Cammy by Rochelle Mead. God, Sarah, I'm so surprised that you picked Vampire Academy. But, no, definitely, if you haven't gotten into this series yet, I'd recommend you get into this series. It's a very nice series. I love this series so much. It's one of my personal favorites. Another one of my personal favorites that I see no one has read. Yeah, I think there's only one of my friends who's actually read this series, and that's Demon Kiss by H.M. Moore. I'm going to probably recommend the series until I'm blue in the face. So, recommended that. And then the one I most recently recommended to my boyfriend and my roommate, which is The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken. I got recommended this book, actually. I didn't really... wasn't really sure about it at first, but I loved it. And I'm going to pick up Never Fade whenever I get my TBR shelf done, which probably won't be, like, for a good long while. Okay, and then a gray book. For this one... I've chosen hair getting in my face. Never buy wigs and don't brush them out because then this happens. Uh, I picked Finale by Becca Fitzpatrick. So much gray and black. I just love it. And then a little dash of red just really completes it. But if you haven't noticed, I, I was going to like sneakily hide this in the back. But since the lighting's horrible, I do have my Divergent movie with me. So, that's pretty awesome. Okay. Dauntless, a book with a brave female or male character. Uh, for this one, I really do love Rose Halfway. I think she's the bravest character I've ever read about. But for this one, I'm really going to have to give it to another character. And that is Peyton and Jackie from the Burn series. Uh, they are really awesome characters. I've, um, I've read a lot about their journey and I love them so much. So the bravest characters definitely go to Jackie and Payne because of what they've been through all their life with their family and stuff. So definitely those two. Okay. A black book that you own. A black book I'm going to go with Night Star by Allison Noel for this one, because all the black and just a, like a splash of color on it, so I chose that one. Next one is um, Erudite, actually. A book you learned a lot from, and for this I picked, I'm so sad I lost the cover to it because it's one of my favorite Ellen Hawkins covers, but for this one I picked Tricks by Ellen Hawkins. What this book basically is about is uh, prostitution. So when I read this book, I was a little bit skept spectacle, or what have you not. I was a little, you know, on the fence about it at first. I really didn't want to read about prostitution, but it's by Ellen Hawkins, and I think she knows what she's doing by now. So I picked this one up, and it really surprised me. It really taught me a lot about how people get into prostitution, and sometimes it's not by choice. So I really liked this one, and it's about teenage prostitution too, which I haven't read a lot about. It was unique, and it really surprised me. So Deadly Tricks by Ellen Hawkins gets that award. Okay, and then next is a blue book. Did I actually pick up a blue book? 
Well, it's got some blue. I think it. I might be cheating on this one, but I picked up Retribution of Mara Dyer since I haven't really showed it on this channel a lot. I think it's got some blue. Um, it's in the ocean, so it must be blue. Blue. Oh, actually, no, that's actually not the one that I picked for blue. Sorry about that. The one I picked for blue was Thorn Queen by Rochelle Mead. I didn't see that in there, but all the blues right there. Okay, Mitty. A book that makes you feel good. And it's always gonna be my number one answer. And that's Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead. This whole series makes me just feel alive again. And I love it. Okay, and then this one. A red or yellow book. Uh, for this one, I don't feel like I show it enough. So I picked More Happy Than Not by Adam Sol Solveria. All the yellow and blue and other stuff. But look, all yellow. So, that one. Okay, Candor, a book you hate that everyone loves. Uh, I honestly really hate this book. I'm sorry to anyone who loves it, but I hate it. Absolutely hate the daughter of smoking bones. I'm sorry. It just wasn't intriguing for me. The high fantasy didn't really get to me. Nor did the love between Akiva and Karu. I didn't get that. I got it somewhat. I get that they're, you know, bound in some way, which I'm not going to spoil it for anyone who wants to read it, but yeah, I, I didn't like this book. I didn't like the plot line. I didn't, I didn't particularly enjoy anything about that book except, you know, Brimstone and her best friend, Susanna, but besides that, I didn't really like this book. Okay, a black or white book. I think that one, black or white book, what did I choose for that one? Did I choose that? Oh yeah, I chose uh, Say What You Will by Cammie McLeverlin. I don't show this book very often, so I chose to put it in the spotlight for this one. Okay, The Factionless, pick a book with a lot of different genres. And this one I picked Mara Dyer because it might be fantasy, it might be contemporary, who knows of this book because it's so crazy and out there and she struggles with everyday struggles too. So I really like this one too. And last question, what faction do you choose to be in? Uh, I choose to be in Candor actually. I like to be a very honest person with myself and others. So that was it. That was the Divergent book tag. And since it's all about being brave, hey, look, I took my wig off. Wig off in the middle of a shot just to, you know, go in there. So, wow. So just remember, be who you are. Be original. Just be anything you want. Okay, thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll probably do another book tag here in a minute.